party down, guys. You ready to discuss Legos? Yeah, dude. Charles the Raven. All right. So, um, Sean, you were talking a little bit about your all your Lego sets you had. What were like the oh, first yeah. couple ones you had growing up? Like your first ever oh, set. I'm pretty sure the first ever Lego set I had was either one of those like kind of small uh, pirate sets. I think it was like. Mm-hmm. Them pirates, sailors, and like pirates on a little tiny island, or it was this like city one that I had that was a a police plane with like a little camera that would pop nice. out of the top of the plane nice. that I always pretended was a laser gun because that's way cooler than a camera. <laughs> All right, and now I just want to get into your most recent, but we'll go over the other ones. But most like... recent Lego set, yeah. Um. I bought what was it? Fucking Star Killer ship when they released that. When Force Aw- or Force Unleashed the Awakens, Force Unleashed. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Hack and slash yeah. Star Wars game. Too many, too many year. Star Killers. So yeah, when... I'm, I'm not gonna give money to Disney Wars. <laughs> when was the? <laughs> when did that set? Would you say it came out? Like it came out in release with the game too, or? Yeah, that was like late 2000. The first Force Unleashed or the second? The first one. The first. Okay. So it came with Star Killer and Juno Eclipse. I bring that up because the first couple sets I've had were um, Lego Knights. Those were. So... Oh yeah, dude! I had those too. Um, I had a platform that had like a small wizard tower, mm-hmm. and it had like a. Oh, yeah, wizards, dude. Yeah, there was wizards. Oh, yeah. Um, I never got wizards. I only got knights. I had the wolf, like the wolf emblem knights. I don't know if you remember those shields that had like a, mm-hmm. a little wolf yep. on it. I had those. Those guys. Are the bad guys, weren't they? I think they were. Um, and there was a wizard in a tower. And I got he it. He was because... the only guy you could get with the glow in the dark wand at the time, too. Yes. And um, I remember those sets being pretty minimal with the different varieties of pieces. Yep. And then my most recent one is the Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car. Ooh. And they have so many different pieces, pe- like variants yeah, of pieces. So it's really weird to look at like the style of building like one of those planes from the city um, catalog. What the city catalog is now with like the different dimensions that you can add to the plane. Because they used to just be like a, a fuselage and wings and wheels like that was it yeah well right and like a cockpit they started out real like basic and rudimentary yeah so it's gotten so advanced but uh yeah, what other crazy. what other ones did you have sean after you got the the pirates like what were some other ones that you got uh fucking like pretty much every one of them my brothers and i were obsessed from with them like the only thing we'd want for <laughs> birthday presents or christmas presents were either legos or video games same and that was all we would get but i do remember uh Parents. when they first started making star wars legos oh yeah yeah my grandpa got me the millennium falcon the very first nice. one that they released and it took me nice. four hours to put together and then yeah, that immediately after i finished putting it together my cousin who was just a baby at the time comes downstairs and sits on it because she thought it was a stool. <laughs> Did, you... <laughs> Did you sit on her toys? No. thought you were going to say like, Rob would... fucked it up and it would have been like fair. No, it wasn't Rob. What is this puck doing? <laughs> Close enough, though. Well, for... Rob did do something kind of like that, though, with uh, a Mega Bloks set I had. Of course. Get he away sat from on me. it? He thought it was something, then he sat on it? <laughs> no, he, he put it up. I got, um, when Majora's Mask came out, I got, had a birthday party, and I got that for my birthday, as well as, like, a Mega Bloks half pipe. And oh, sick. Two days, like, two days after I finished putting that half pipe together, Rob disassembles it and builds his own thing. I was just like, that, that will <laughs> the worst. Let me have more fun with it before you take it apart. Jeez. I mean, we weren't really... Oh, fuck. Get the hell away from... We weren't really possessive or anything about our Legos, because, I mean, it's all going to get mixed up in the same shit bucket eventually, but yeah, I just wanted a little bit longer to play with that completed set. 
So it like, takes everything. mine was like a lot of inherited ones from my brother. Like the knights were one of those, and some old space ones. Yep, I had. I may was... have got some like little tiny sets of the knights, where it was just the knights and the horses. Space cops, ice planet. But... Yeah, what was the space cops? It was it called like yeah. space police? Yeah, space police. And then I like call them space cops because they're space cops. And then, like, the first one I, like, remember, remember was a water one that I had a, I had a boat. And then it had a, a scuba diver with a um, cage. You know, the scuba diver cage that reels down from the boat. Yep. And then, like, it had some, like, sharks and shit, too. Some underwater one. And I had pirates. I had, like, the, the pirate ship or one of the pirate ships. I don't know if it was the full tilt one. Or if it was like the next one down, but it was a big, big old pirate ship boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, because uh, I usually got small ones. Like I didn't, I didn't get big ones because they were expensive. But Roger, like, I don't want to interrupt you, but I got another Rob fucking up one of my Lego set stories. <laughs> Good, do it. You remember Aquanauts? Yes. Or Aquanauts? Yeah. I got the big good guy base, you know, with the giant blue doors and the, like conveyor yes. belts and the watchtower on the giant on the uh, like rocky floor. Yep. Right. Day after I finished building that, Rob took all the tiny little chrome daggers and harpoons and stuff and mm -hmm. shoved them inside the conveyor belt in there, and it fucking broke it because it wouldn't turn anymore. And nice. To take it apart to... What the fuck? Yeah, I had to take it apart to get all that crap out of there. And since I was a little kid, I didn't save the instruction manual, so I was just like, well, that was cool for a day. Right. That's too bad. I had, like, I had some of the, uh, you remember when, like, the Ninja ones first came out? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah, I love those ones. And I, like, I had some of those, too. And then, like. Ninja Samurai. Yep. Yeah. And Some then, um. Armor. Those are cool. I had, uh, for Star Wars one, I had only. For as much as I love Star Wars, I only had one Star Wars one. It's usually because, like, the cool ones were expensive. They were. All those licenses, um, Lego sets were super yeah. expensive. But I had, uh, for Christmas or birthday or something, I got the Hoth speeder. Oh, nice. And, uh, with Luke. Yep. Luke and uh, his blue lightsaber, and then what, it was a DAC. Yeah. Whoever. Yep. His co pilot. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that had, you know, the harpoon thingies you could fire with a string attached to them. Mm -hmm. um, that was cool. I got, yeah. like, a small... I got, like, a Harry Potter one, or a couple of them, because I remember having Hagrid, Harry, Dumbledore, and uh, fucking Quirrell, Professor mm -hmm. Quirrell. Um, Did you ever uh, trade your rare Legos with kids at school? Nah, dude. I was very possessive of my shit. So I was like, yeah. I hate it. Like, I, I never traded Pokemon cards or shit because I didn't want to lose them. I got a lot of kids kind of envious of me. Was, uh, do you remember Throwbots? No. Oh, no, what's that one? They were like, that is. came out right after Bionicles, but they were basically was... Bionicles yeah. that had specialized arms that could throw discs. Oh, I remember those. Okay. Back and release, and the disc goes flying. Yep, I remember those. You got one that was like a motorcycle with like teal katanas on it, and as far as I know, that was like the only Lego set ever made with teal katanas. Nice. Uh, all like the kids that. wanted those, and I was just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not giving you these. These are mine forever. I'm right. Pretty sure they're still in one of those Rubbermaid bins. You uh. You bring up another thing there. I was an absolute slut for fucking Bionicles, dude. That first <laughs> oh, dude. wave, dude. I had all I had all the first wave of the good guys. I'm pretty sure Steven and I raided our dad's change jar for quarters to buy Bionicles <laughs> when we first found dude. them. It was perfect because it was like. Because I was always, like, an action figure guy. That's why, like, I, I am having a better time remembering the figures than I do, like, the sets for some yep. of them. Mm -hmm. um, because I've always been a figure guy. And so, like, uh, a Lego that you built an action figure out of Legos, I was like, fuck, yeah, dude. Yep. And they all had, like, 
robots. How many gens and yeah. bionicles were there? Oh, dude, there were so many. Um, but they all had the the little like some of them had like the cranks on the back to make their arms go and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the they cog wheels, the uh, booster packs full of masks. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then like you'd get like the second gen ones. The second gen ones, they got armor, right? Yeah. And like. And like more intense masks, and then you, those still worked on the first gen ones. Like mm-hmm. the the core body and everything was still the same. Yep. So like you could get that armor and just slide it onto those. Because I did cool. get the red one. I don't know what from though. Maybe some kid just gave it to me. I don't know. But I don't know. But those shits were awesome. First ones we got. I got the ice guy with the sword and the shield. Yep. And Steven yep. got the. Uh... Fire and he has fire sword, and the white one also has like scopes on his eye and shit. Yeah, does dude. he have skis? No. Um, like, who had skis? Bionicles. I no, think. yeah, his because he has a um, he has a like a he has swords. He has two swords, I yeah, think, and then you can like put them on his feet gen. like a ski. So I think he can still do that with the first gen. gen. No, first gen sure guy though. was sword and shield. Oh yeah, the shield. Yeah, you're right. I thought I remember one like, maybe it was a promo or a commercial, but one was like skiing down a, a snow or was like snowboarding down some like snow face. Yeah, that was for the movie. You... Was it okay? Yeah. Was it yep. the white guy or the blue guy? The... It was it was the white guy. It was the snow guy, but it was like later on. It was like second or. Oh third, yeah, I had the like that. Cause the um, the movie came out, and uh, they had the was it gold, gold one. I don't remember. I only I, remember. I got that right. guy. I got the gold one too. But like I mean, they still like they don't Lego movies or anything like that until uh like a Lego movie and Lego Batman came out. Yeah, I only knew about the, or I only saw the Bionicle one because they played it on uh, Cartoon Network. Dude, I caught it on there. But like Rock Raiders. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rock oh, Raiders. Did you ever play the Rock Raiders game? No, but I no, it dude, was I ain't, not that oh, I know, dude. It was a fucking RTS. It was a Lego RTS and you built the Rock Raiders base that and you had to terrible. Pick off the fucking slugs and the giant rock <laughs> monster. It was awesome. And that was back um, when they didn't do any voice acting for Lego guys, so they would all just like grunt <laughs> and like murmur and just <laughs> Fucking yeah, Lego Razor? That yeah. game was fucking incredible. Yeah. I remember that. Real Rocket Razor was such an asshole, though. Sean, we should play, play some Lego uh, games on here. We should. We should. I have I have Lord of the Rings and uh, both Harry Potters. Nice. I got Lego Star Wars. We played Star Wars on here. Yeah. We oh, yeah. Yep, we did. Uh, Lego I Batman Lego... pretty fun. Batman 3, Star yeah, DC... Fun. Um, heroes. Where I don't have everybody. I don't think I have three. I got Lego I World get on my Switch because so I thought it would be like Lego Minecraft, but right. I just I, don't know, I wasn't and I couldn't get into it and kind of wish I could have got Sean, a refund real, for real, that. Real, real quick, go over yes. all your Star Wars Lego sets. I had the X Wing. I had the Millennium Falcon. I think that was it. Or I like, Star Killer ship. I would totally uh, yeah. think you had way more than me. Yeah, you had like, like all the Millennium Falcon is probably the biggest one, and I don't yeah, think I I'm... had that one. I'm just listening off the ones that were like mine. Okay. Rob didn't give you a should... shit about Star Wars. Steven, I think, had the snow speeder. Tyler, you should give the the rundown of yours because you had a lot of Star Wars ones. Yeah, the ones yep. the big ones that I had though. Like as big sets, I had. Do you remember the Wild West? Oh, I love the sets. Wild West. Wild West ones were yep. freaking cool. Oh I yeah, had... I had some of the Wild Wild West ones too. I had some cowboys. I had the most full... of my sets were the like Wild West and Johnny Thunder like adventure sets. Yep, I had a lot of Johnny Thunder own. ones. I had a lot of Aztec. space ones. Yep, my Star Wars ones are. I had the snow speeder. I had mm-hmm. the first original. X-wing that could turn into like a lightsaber. Um, I had the Naboo starfighter. Oh, had, that one was sick. I had the two uh, speeder bikes from Endor with two scout troopers and Luke and Leia. 
I think Steve might have had that one. Steven was obsessed with scout troopers when we were growing up. Oh, really? They looked cool. I liked them, too. They are just because they look cool. looking troopers. I had, yeah. I had Anakin's pod racer. Nice. Oh, dang, dude. And I think I had... Dude, there's like... a kid on our block that had all the pod racers. Really? That shit was oh, awesome. Oh, my God. Yeah. I had a... There's this kid um, growing up when, when those came out. His name was Nathan Boner. Um, <laughs> he had... A whole closet where, like, a you know, basement, like, a pantry, <laughs> pantry room where he had, like, all of his Lego sets set up. Yeah. And he, he, like, showed me his, like, case of all, like, uh, I don't know if they were in glass cases or just on a shelf, but he had, like, every Star Wars set so far that have, that came out all built. And I was like, whoa, dude, <laughs> that's next level. <laughs> dude, yeah, that's ridiculous. And I, I didn't I, have um, Jar Jar, but I had like, I had two R two D twos. One came with the X wing. One came with the uh, Naboo starfighter with Anakin. Nice. Um, Did you ever get any of the uh, Lego Technic Star Wars sets? No. Technics are expensive as fuck, dude. They were, but Steven got the uh, the B one battle droid for birthday or Christmas. Oh, nice. It was fucking cool. So it folded up just tight. like in the movie. Yeah. There was a little button you could press that would just like make them snap out and, you know, get into battle position. Yeah, I had something like that too. I had those, the battle droids with um, Darth Maul. I forgot what set Ooh. that was, but it was, it could have been the set with um, the Naboo Starfighter because I think that's when like the Duel of Fates happens when like right in the docking bay. Yep. That's when it, st- it, when it starts and I think I got Ob Qui Gon, Anakin, and Darth Maul with that Naboo set, because I don't oh, think no, I right. had I don't think I had the Darth Maul, um, whatever his ship's called, the Interceptor, whatever it was, Sith Infiltrator. Yeah, Sith Infiltrator. Infiltrator, I hardly know her. Do you remember the uh, Mars sets? Mm-hmm. Vaguely. Steven got those, and when the Star Wars sets came out, it kind of blew my mind because the martians in those sets had the same bodies as the battle droids oh yeah crazy believe it the same arms too legs were different but it was just i don't know it just kind of blew my mind like whoa they're reusing this (laughs) the uh the most recent set i have most recent sets i guess we got one the the um Groomsman got one for uh, Buddy Matt Miller's wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think one of the either one of the groomsmen couldn't make it or something, so there was one left over that was like an Aquaman one. I got that, but I haven't done it. Oh. Um, I think the one I did get was like Batman or some shit. Nice. Uh, and then before that. Um, there's a Green Lantern one, um, that I got that's Green Lantern and, uh, a construct, uh, ship that he's in. Mm -hmm. So it's like a little, like, plane, like, spaceship thing. Okay. And it also comes with, uh, Sinestro. And he's got this little container thing that where he's holding the, um, the Green Lantern's power battery. So it's kind of cool having a Lego power battery. So mm-hmm. it's, you know, his little his lantern that he carries with him sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Those are like my two most recent ones. I want to get I want to get back into it. I don't get another one. Yeah, it's a really creative thing to do, but I think we should uh, come back to this discussion in the next episode, maybe? If we have more to say, I mean, but... Um, but the, my my last my last piece was just saying we should totally just like even if we're at our own homes, just stream, uh, stream us playing with Legos. Yeah, put so a webcam. Yeah, just <laughs> just watch us play with Legos. Just video <laughs> chat and fuck around with Legos. Yeah, dude, I'd totally chill. do that. That'd be great. Yeah, be some wholesome content. It would be. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll be back in the next episode with more wholesome content. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>